Hi, I'm Mike. I'm an open source developer and I'm the CEO of Fleet Device Management. And uh, I think it's time that device management went open source. So what is OS Query? The OS Query uh, is a tool that you can install. It's an agent. Um, it can live on workstations, on servers. And it was actually built back at Facebook about half a decade ago because they had this problem where they wanted to do custom visibility uh, on their devices and they wanted to do kind of custom management. Um, and there weren't a lot of great cross-platform open source options for that. So my co-founder, Zach Wasserman, with some other folks, uh, including Mike Arpaia at Facebook, created OS Query, which is like a way of sending SQL queries to a device and then it pretending like it's a database, but giving you information back for your query. So there's something like 200, almost 300 tables in OS Query, all sorts of powerful functionality, pretty low level. So what is Fleet? Fleet is the most widely used open source OS Query manager. So what that means is it's, it's kind of like an observability tool um, like Jamf but it's open source. So all of the source code is available um, and you can you know, change it, fork it if you need to, and you deploy it on your own servers uh, in your own cloud environment, wherever you want. It's written in Go on the back backends uh, and React on the front end in case you want to contribute, which speaking of which, we are over 75 contributors uh, as of recently, folks from Atlassian, Yelp, um, Uber, Gusto, Chan Zuckerberg, um, Off Zero. Lots of folks have this particular problem. And thankfully, we're all kind of putting our heads together to avoid reinventing the wheel. So let's just see what Fleet is. As we're going into this, you can see the Fleet repo has a little instruction block here. So you need Node and you need Docker installed. And Node is really just to be able to get this command line tool. So this is a, to keep this demo short, I won't install it. I already have it installed. Fleet Control Preview, I will run just so you can see it. And this is actually item potent. So you can run it again. It doesn't break anything. So there's two parts to Fleet. There is, I'm going to open it up right here in the browser. There are live queries, which let you ask questions and get immediate answers about devices. And then there are scheduled queries, which lets you kind of pump information out of devices and store it in a SIM or some other place where you put long-term data uh, for analysis and alerting like a Splunk, an Elastic, um, Sumo Logic, et cetera. Um, so, e and the latter use case is often how people implement detections, um, like what Palantir does in their ADS framework, if you've heard of that. If you haven't, basically, it's just the way that they did security uh, at Palantir, and then they kind of open sourced how they did their detections. So anyways, you can see in Fleet, I have my, my hosts. These are all simulated Linux hosts, and this first one is actually my Mac. Um, you can see it has some basic information, and then it also has the ability to let me query this Mac. So you can see I already have all of these queries here. This actually came from something we just added, which is called the standard query library. So this is contributed by folks from across the community. Um, like this one is from Ahmed at Wayfair. Um, and in here, you can see there's a bunch of different queries. I'm just going to look at homebrew packages because I'm on a Mac. You can see it's supported on Mac. It's an informational query, like rather than a detection. Um, and if I wanted to, I could contribute edits or improve you know, any typos I found, whatever. So I actually already have these installed, but if I wanted to grab them myself, I could just hit edit there, and then I could copy this command, clone the fleet repo and run it. And that would import all of these queries right into fleet. So I've actually already done that here. And I will, I'm gonna look at all the homebrew packages. And I already selected my target, which is just one device. I could be running this on 10 or 100,000 different hosts at the same time. And in a second, it takes a little while because there is a heartbeat going on in the background, and so it'll vary. But this is uh, the four homebrew packages I have installed. So not a ton, but now I'm going to go ahead back to my host. I'm going to look up this particular host. And you can see something we are adding or recently added is software inventory. So this is one of the first of what we're calling host vitals that uh, are getting added all the time. Um, and this is actually going to be some of the same information. Queries are really powerful and they're flexible, but also it can be handy to be able to fetch higher level information uh, without having to uh, write all of the SQL yourself. 
So you can see here's the same info, but all kind of rolled up for me automatically. So that's, that's a fleet at a super high level. Um, there's also scheduled queries, which I won't dig into right now. That's through query packs. And then you can also edit and share these queries. Um, as far as what's coming down the pipe, we are shipping a whole bunch of new stuff uh, this quarter and this year. Uh, there is, uh, as I mentioned before, the community is growing, getting more and more active. Uh, there's a lot of folks realizing they need to be able to customize their device management security programs. Um, and the awesome part is they're all willing to contribute to open source. So uh, Fleet will be around a while. The company's well-funded. We have multi-year deals with actual customers um, and we are hiring. So if you want to find out more info, head to our website at fleetdm.com or you can check us out on Twitter. And our Twitter handle is the same as the command line tool, if you forget. Hope to see you around.